hello dears uh, next we are going to talk about something called malabsorption malabsorption so you know malabsorption something is not absorbed the small intestine is the main part of absorption right you know duodenum the proximal part of duodenum will be absorbing iron so any damage there you will have iron deficiency anemia they will be absorbing calcium if any damage there we will have what osteopenia or osteoporosis problem in the bone right jejunum is responsible for absorbing vitamin b9 folic acid so any problem in jejunum will cause megaloblastic anemia similar manner we have terminal ileum terminal ileum responsible for mainly b12 and bile salt bile salt you know b12 no b12 megaloblastic or macrocytic anemia bile salt means no vitamin e d a d e k right so vitamin a deficiency will cause you what night blindness d will cause rickets or osteomalacia in may in adults osteomalacia rickets in children e will cause you nystagmus or infertility right nystagmus k4 clotting so there will be no clotting if there is deficiency so accordingly you can connect then we have colon colon is responsible for what water absorption water the main uh, organ in our uh, git tract digestive tract is pancreas they will have the pancreatic enzyme pancreatic enzymes like amylase amylase for carbohydrate digestion trypsin for protein pancreatic amylase trypsin and lipase for fat this is how the digestion work as everyone know so how you confirm someone have malabsorption you will give them 100 gram of fat you give them 100 gram of fat after you will check his stool in the stool if you see less than 14 gram it means no no malabsorption everything is normal but you are seeing in the stool more than 14 gram fat is coming out steatorrhea so you are suspecting malabsorption so you will do a test called d silos d silos you will give the patient d silos then if d silos is absorbed if it is absorbed there is no problem with no intestinal intestinal malformation or like no problem in villi or other thing you can suspect there is no problem in absorption in intestine so then other problem will be what pancreatic insufficiency or cystic fibrosis something like that but if d silos is not absorbed sorry not absorbed so we confirm surely there is a problem in what intestinal villi or problem in absorbing the intestine so that type of disorder we can confirm that is called malabsorption because of intestinal issues we have different disease like maybe you might have heard about celiac disease you might have heard about sprue tropical sprue right or whipple sprue so what is the celiac disease very important exam question everywhere celiac celiac sprue in celiac sprue what is happening they are the intestine become sensitive to gluten food sensitive to gluten food so they will have foul smelling diarrhea patient will be having foul smelling diarrhea patient will have bloating bloating patient will be having weight loss remember in skin they can have something called very important dermatitis herpetiformis dermatitis herpetiformis for diagnosing or remember don't which are the gluten food bro don't give the baby or child who are having celiac barley don't give them rye don't give them oats don't give them wheat or semolina which is also called semolina give or don't give don't give because they are sensitive to gluten don't give diagnosis you can see here uh, trans glutaminase antibody trans glutaminase antibody or anti gliadin antibody gliadin antibody or endomycial antibody always remember the best answer to choose will be trans glutaminase that is the best thing or best antibody you have to choose here now 
For treating dermatitis herpetiformis, we can give dapsone drug. Dapsone. Then for treating celiac sprue, don't give, don't give which food? This bro. Don't give barley, rye, oats or wheat. It will take some time, like for uh, uh, treating the disease. Along with for diagnosing, along with antibody, you can do endoscopy and biopsy to confirm. That will show you atrophy of intestinal villi. Very important. Or they will show you crypt lengthening, crypts lengthened. Then, uh, blunt or atrophied villi. Then, the mucosal crypts will be atrophied. So the main thing happening here, decrease in surface area for absorption. Decrease in surface area for absorption. Why it is happening? Because of this antibody attacking the intestine. Right. Then lymphocytes, infiltration can be also seen here. So that's about what? Celiac sprue. Next one, very high tropical sprue. Tropical sprue. Mainly seen in due to what? Some infections. Like same symptoms as celiac. Like commonly seen in like a Caribbean area, Caribbean farmers. They are negative for a stain, they are past negative. Treatment we give is an infection, we give what? Antibiotic. Then very important one, Whipple's proof. Whipple's proof. It is caused by Trophorema Whipple. They are past positive. You will see a pink colored organism. It will affect not only the GIT brain, joints, skin, dark pigments. Then, lymph nodes. Then, uh, they can cause some type of heart disease also, heart disease even. Like mainly they can affect our wall, we call it as endocarditis. Endocarditis. I'm sorry. For treating, for diagnosing already, we do pass and we can do again endoscopy or biopsy here. No, no issue. For treatment, we give what? Seftri ah, axon for IV Seftri axon and TMP. SMX orally, maybe for one year even, can give. So these are the three main important proof and you know how to differentiate now what is uh, tropical sprue and whipple sprue. Other one of the most common malabsorption asked in the exam is lactose intolerance. Lactose intolerance. Some babies that eat uh, dairy products dairy products and they can't digest it because they don't have lactase enzyme lactase enzyme so they will have bloating diarrhea vomiting uh, like hesitation I remember we do a test for here hydrogen breath test hydrogen breath test right treatment replace what enzyme lactase and avoid what dairy products so these are the most important points that we have to know from what celiac as well as sprue that is and the whole malabsorption disease. Thank you.